everyone, my name is Piers Ridiard, CEO of RDX Works, a core developer of the decentralized finance protocol Radix, a layer one entirely focused on bringing DeFi into the mainstream. Today, I have Chris from Caviar, who is going to be talking a bit about their decks and everything that they are building in addition in their Floopyverse, which yeah. I'm sure we'll get onto. But Chris, just to start off with, what is Caviar? So Caviar is a fintech company and we're building for web free users, we're building innovative financial products on Radix. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'll explain a little bit about you. So we have, we have a couple of projects. We have a, we have a DEX, yep. which is a pool based um, single token liquidity provision DEX. That's, yep. our, that's our flagship DEX called Caviar Swap. And then we also have an aggregator. So, so savvy investors, they tend to trade using, a, using an aggregator. So yep. DSOR aggregator is, is like one inch, but on Radix. Yeah, okay. So first couple of products, very yep. much towards trading. Now, single pool liquidity. That's right. As in, it, that's, that's quite a deep concept. Yes. So talk, talk a little bit about what single pool liquidity means. Sure. So it's pool based, which means that um, instead of instead of having a token against say XRD, you can have a pool which has got a token and, and, and it's got XRD and has many tokens in it. Um, and that, that basically, that increases the, the the effective liquidity which is available to traders. Right, yeah. so instead of having like a pair where I've got XRD versus Floop and then XRD versus um, Aussie, yeah. I can have uh, a pool that is XRD, Aussie, and Fluke, and yes. so instead of having to double up the amount of XRD exactly. I have, I can have the same. I can have one pool of XRD, yeah. one pool of Aussie, one pool of Fluke, and they can all trade against Absolutely. each other. Absolutely. So there's effectively more liquidity than if you just account the the XRD in right. isolation. Right. right. Okay. Yeah. That, that's really cool. But like, um, it's it obviously a lot more complicated to build. It is more complicated. Yes. So what was the what were the main breakthroughs that you had to get to to be able to build that kind of functionality? I mean, it, it's, it's it's possible to build it. It's just that you know if you can have more complexity in your logic, then you obviously need a platform which has got low gas costs, right? right. In order to do that, right, which right, is right. why Radix is perfect because right. the the cost of compute is so low. Right. Yeah. So so that's that's one of the advantages. Yeah. I mean, it's it's if all you were to be doing is just be taking the balances and then using that to drive spot prices, then that's you know that kind of really limits you to what right. you, what you can build. So right. yeah, so there's extra logic involved, but it's it's not a huge layer of complexity. Yeah, I suppose like it has been done in things like Curve, but it hasn't really been generalized to sort of any um, any different type of like non-similar assets being able to be traded in right. in a yeah. collected pool. Yeah, correct. Um, and so Desor, talk a little bit about Desor. Yeah, so Desor is a, is an aggregator. I mean, we we will we'll be rebranding the name when okay. when we come to Babylon. But Desor stands for Decentralized Smart Order Router. Okay. So it's a it's a I guess it's a sort of terminology that we've used from traditional finance. Um, but okay. The, you know, the idea is is, is it like, sounds like, to me it always sounded like a Marvel supervillain. Yeah. We are fighting <laughs> Desor. Yeah, and it's got this great ring icon. So yeah. it looks yeah yeah it looks like something out of Tron or so. But yeah, no. So decentralized smart order router. Okay. It's uh, it's um, you know liquidity becomes fragmented. You know al already on Radix. You know there's there's multiple sort of dexes or yeah. prototype dexes which yeah. people are running. Yeah. So it's like well, which dex do I go to if I want to trade? Well, you know the perfect thing is to aggregate everything together and right. let it do the routing. So you know simple example is. is you know, I've got a thousand XRD and I want to buy some caviar token. Then do I go to caviar swap? Do I go to Aussie? Do I go to Braddix Planet? Or numerous other DEXs, right, 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 you know, right. especially in the future with Babylon. Yeah. So, so what, what it does, what Desor does is it, it's constantly looking at all the liquidity pools out there, looking at all the prices, and then it's working out the optimum route. So it's right. saying, right, I'm going to send 30% to caviar swap and 25% to Aussie swap and, yeah. and you know, et cetera, et cetera. And that will get you the most tokens back for your money. So it's optimizing the liquidity. And it's super important once you get to, you know, as you get a growth in the ecosystem and you get more and more fragmented liquidity, like everyone should really be trading through an aggregator. Yes, yeah, yeah. okay. And uh, and then, so what have you guys, you, the uh, aggregator's already up and running? It is, and, yes. And the, uh, and, and uh, Caviar Swap is also up and running. Yes, it what is. What have you guys seen so far in terms of volume and user base? Yeah, I mean, we're seeing great volume. I mean, to be clear, we're running in a sort of, it's a centralized prototype. Yeah. So we're not, we're not really looking to attract huge amounts of volume yeah. right now. Um, 
but it, you know it's been it's amazing traction amongst the community yeah. um, we've seen great growth we've seen it's astonishing actually that people actually trust us and 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 stake with us and and uh, yeah it's, yeah, it's yeah, it's been been phenomenal actually. And and uh, I suppose great for you to learn as well to sort of get a better pro feel for what the product's going to feel like in in production. Abs absolutely. What yeah. kind of problems people come across? What are the main things that people want to trade? Like what are the main questions they have? Like just a fantastic way of building product. Absolutely. And we've been through several iterations of it already. It was yeah. like V1 of Caviar Swap and then V2, which happened. And as we introduced new features and yeah. some of it based off feedback as well. So yeah. V1 was extremely. It didn't have the single token uh, liquidity provision in it, for example. Right. Um, it was just purely pool based. And then V2 is, 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 has adapted, you know. That's yeah, so, really, really yeah. cool. And so single pool liquidity, um, that obviously means that you can also give one only one side. You don't have to give to both yes, sides, exactly. which I think is going to be really popular for a lot of people as well. Yeah, it gives you it gives you the choice, right? I mean, right. You know, you, if you want to do, provide a pair based liquidity, then you can. You can provide XRD and you can provide the token, right. but you, you're not obliged to. Right. Yeah. You know? And and also the way we have it is if you provide XRD liquidity, you can attach to that XRD. You can say what tokens you want it to be applicable to. Right. So you can say, I don't like Moon Token, I don't want my XRD to, to trade against that, but I do want it to trade against Floop or Aussie or, or you know whichever token that, right, you, right, that right, you like. Right. And so what's, what's next for Caviar? So there's a huge amount of stuff that we're building. Obviously Babylon's the biggest thing. Yeah. Um, you know, over the last year and a half or so, we've built all kinds of projects and, and we're, so we're, we want to tidy everything up for Babylon. So Caviar Swap and Desaw will be integrated. There'll be a few little bells and whistles and things which we add. Yeah. Totally new user experience. It's going to be very, very simple and intuitive for, for, you know, for hopefully, especially with the Babylon wallet for people to interact with. Um, but our longer term plans is because we're TradFi derivatives guys originally, our long term plan is to go you know, is, is to look at building derivatives and perpetuals, uh, indexes, you know, ultimately um, asset management type products as well. So the DEX is the starting point. You know, you can't you can't run before you can walk. Right. You know, everyone needs an exchange. Um, but yeah, we've got big plans. And so, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully Radix is a success and, uh, you know, we can start building that no, after, no, no. after that one. When Radix is a success, yeah, absolutely, yes. then Caviar Correct. is going to yeah. absolutely yeah. thrive. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so really exciting. Thank you so much for uh, coming along and talking to me. And uh, if people want to try out Caviar, try out Diesel, where do they get started? Um, come and come and join us on the Telegram or on Discord or on Twitter. Yeah. Um, we're we're Caviar XRD on Telegram or Caviar Nine on Twitter. Yeah. That's the easiest thing. Just just hit us up or come to Caviar9.com our webpage. Caviar Nine as in just the number or Caviar uh, no, Nine? No, N I N E. So yes. Caviar Nine, Caviar Nine dot com. Um, yes. Caviar Nine dot com. Come check it out. It really is one of the coolest dexes that I've ever seen. Some really cool innovation going on there and definitely worth playing around with even before Babylon goes live. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you.